Let me bring it back a little bit to a more personal perspective as to um, how to think about this because there is this tendency when I talk to business leaders of you recognize excellence in a form that reminds you of yourself and when you talk about things like pay equity and legislation they always um, take umbrage a little bit that that they want to have equity um, they want to promote women there's a pipeline issue there's all kinds of other issues that are stopping them from getting you know gender pay equity at least what what do you see and what are what uh, give us some thoughts yourself as to how you respond to that because these are very personal issues as well relationships between a boss and an employee can't legislate that right and, and i think that that is a, a great you know point that we cannot legislate everything so what we have legislated is um addressing one piece of this overall puzzle right um, and that piece has to do with the salary ranges as well as data collection uh, mm -hmm. and i think that it's also important to recognize and i've talked about this often that our law senate bill 1162 that passed in california in 2020 is not going to fix the problem it will not eliminate the gap it will narrow it and as we all move forward, whether it's the private sector doing individual pledges to say, this is what we want for our employees, whether it's legislation or whether there are more intentional, um, you know, everyday practice and trainings and models um, within each you know, sector um, of private and public. This is also applies to pri pri uh, you know, public mm -hmm. uh, employers as well. I, I think there's a lot more work to be done. So I think that uh, it's a recognition that what we are doing narrows the pay equity gap, but also a recognition that these elements alone are not going to solve for all of the issues um, that come in play. And we want to also be helpful in that space. Um, and I think um, we haven't seen as much in terms of laws or directions, um, but we have seen that whether it's, you know, women on corporate boards or pay transparency or paid family leave, when these laws go into place, they have an intended and perhaps unintended consequence, but the intended, you know, consequence that was expected um, is something that we see. Um, and now it's our opportunity with the data collection to assess whether we've been fully successful, partial successfully, or if we need to go back and revamp mm -hmm. the laws. And that is something that happens very regularly in the legislative process. We will go a few years and say, look, do we need a course correct? And what does that look like? Um, and so I think having a law in place allows us to course correct not having a law in place doesn't allow us to do any of the above. Well, look forward to getting more data and look forward to continuing the conversation. Uh, Senator Monique Limon, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Diane.